right, sit back, relax, have a drink, enjoy the show, I promise. We're all perfectly safe here. It was late one Saturday in the fall. My pals were together having a ball. It happened suddenly like they were in a trance. The music came on and they started to dance. It was a regular match. There were no monsters around. Just a match. In a guy's apartment. Now my bodies were drinking and having fun. Remarking how there were no monsters. Not even a one. Just stand a creepy knocking. Dark in the mood. But when they opened the door. It was just a dude. It was a regular match. There were no monsters around. Just a match. In a one bedroom apartment. Thank you. Thanks so much, guys. Woo! So we obviously do a bunch of music, and this is what we'll be doing for you guys tonight. Uh, we changed it up, though. We have all kinds of different styles, so we're going to do something totally different for you right now. Get ready. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but inside is just as frightful. Everything here is frightening. I live in a haunted house. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Totally different. Now, I'm sure we're all here for our mutual love of Tracy Chapman. Well, so are we. A drive and it was good. Everything was totally normal as we cruised around the neighborhood. <laughs> now we're not brave with decisions. We made a mistake and now we're paying. It could result in a collision. We're standing here, we should just start praying. <laughs> We thought we were there, so then we got out. But we forgot to turn off the car. Or put it in park, so now we shout, aye, aye. <laughs> and see the car rolling down the hill, aye, aye. <laughs> Hope the people at the bottom now rode a wheel that might have killed someone, <laughs> killed someone. <laughs> we had a fast car. Emphasis on how there's no way to spin it. It got a ton of air. And knocked over a sign that said the speed limit. <laughs> Sorry, boo -doo -boo -boo. Remember when we were driving, driving to the show? This whole thing happened a few minutes ago. The song's a warning, not for fun. Our the car, car is rolling, rolling down, down our and I, I hope no one would know that it was ours, but oh, our. our. Our names were written on the side of the car. We went to driving school, a driving school, an inexpensive driving school. Boo -doo -boo -boo. A driving lesson. We'll teach you to drive like, like a bad mother lover. We'll believe in testing. And, and learning to stop is something we don't cover. cover. Thank you.
biting into the flesh's hand as the great fish circled the boat. Above them, the blinding sun left its mark across his back, unfettered by storm or cloud. He knew if he gave slack, his skiff would capsize. His sail draping the water like a flag of the feet unfurled. In that moment, the great sturgeon burst towards heaven, its scales glimmering as it danced in the air. It rose higher and higher, and as it peaked, it seemed to hang there and look directly at the man. It stayed there at his crescendo for what seemed to be forever before he realized five minutes had passed and the fish had not yet descended. <laughs> he didn't know what to do and tried to look straight ahead as if nothing was wrong. <laughs> Maybe if he ignored it, it would go away. <laughs> After several minutes passed, he looked at the fish and it was still just floating there, five feet above the water, gills moving, otherwise perfectly still. The old man pretended to read a magazine. And that's when my editors intervened. I wanted to write a novel about a floating fish and the awkwardness inherent in that situation, but it was not to be. I shall now read to you an excerpt from my other award-winning novel, The Sun of Soul Rises. <laughs> the bull was a mass of sweat and trampling red rage. The late afternoon sun glanced across the matador's forehead, but for a small rivulet of perspiration. He was the emotionless embodiment of artistry. His billowing cape played games in the wind, oblivious as a child to a grown argument. It was then the bull charged, his nostrils flared, eyes wide and wet. The bull's stride widened in a moment that seemed to last forever before the ball started gliding horizontally five feet above the ground. <laughs> it was straight out in front and behind it, moving only at right angles. <laughs> Everyone looked straight ahead as if nothing was wrong. The matador pretended to read a magazine. <laughs> And that's when my editor's intervention. I wanted to write a story about what real bullfighting is like. But it was not to be. I shall now read to you an excerpt from my Pulitzer Prize award-winning novel. For Whom the Bell Told. <laughs> <laughs> we lay on our backs, the warm summer air whispering through the tall grass that concealed us. It was there I caressed her neck with my lips, memorizing and tasting the salt of each freckle brought forth by the late afternoon sun. The sky was bright above, revealing no concern and lighting the grass with gold, warmth, and memory. As we embrace, we look into the horizon, beyond the trees, and she told me she loved me. I said I loved her as well, and it was then, in the distance, we saw a small boy on a horse looking straight ahead, <laughs> rising vertically into the air. <laughs> the boy was trying to act like nothing was wrong. <laughs> but the otherwise motionless horse kept lowering and rising until finally lowering out of view, and then all we saw was his cowboy hat going Ooh, in the sky. We were used to such things, though. It was the Spanish Civil War. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Read books. Agreed. 
All right, guys, we have a final song for you. It's a rap, and I should warn you ahead of time, it's a story of true crime. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -oh. I got a lot of chains I want to wear on my neck. I bought a lot of chains with a personal check. They delivered all these chains right onto my deck, and now my deck is destroyed because gold is heavy. Gold is very heavy. <laughs> oh, so heavy. I got a new yacht, and it's real high tech. I bought this new yacht with a personal check. They delivered this yacht onto my new deck, and now my new deck is destroyed because yachts are heavy. Yachts are very heavy. Why would they do that? Oh, so heavy. Put your hands in the air if you got a deck. Keep your hands in the air if your deck was destroyed. Put your hands in the air if you got a deck. Keep your hands in the air if your deck was destroyed. I got a brand new reinforced deck. I cautiously paid with a personal check. They delivered that deck, but then it got wrecked because they delivered a second deck, and decks are heavy. Decks are very heavy. Two to one decks? Oh, so the hell? Put your, your hands in the air if you got a deck. I know some of y'all do. Keep your hands in the air if your deck was crushed by another deck. Put your hands in the air if you got a deck. Keep your hands in the air if you're reevaluating your life. He's got too many decks. <laughs> when I say deck, you say deck, 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 deck. When I say deck, you say deck, 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 deck. I gotta go and write a personal check. Peace. All right, we're Jeffrey Cabaret. Kevin Matthew, Jordan Armstrong.